Buddhism grew rapidly during and after Lord Buddha's lifetime. Its ideals and practices emerged through interaction with other traditions. Some of these interactions took form of veneration of certain sacred places, which were attached with small shrines called Chaityas. Besides Chaityas, places associated with Lord Buddha's life and stupas containing his relics were also worshipped. Let us learn and understand about how Buddhist stupas and Hindu temples were constructed in ancient India. The Structure of the Stupa Stupa originated as a simple semicircular mound called Anda, above which the balcony-like structure called Harmika represented the god's abode. A mast called Yashti which arose from Harmika was surrounded by a chhatri or umbrella. The mound was surrounded by a railing which separated the sacred space from outside world. Early stupas at Sanchi and Barhut had stone railings which resembled a bamboo or wooden fence. Their richly carved gateways were installed at four cardinal points. Worshippers entered through Eastern Gateway and walked around the mound in clockwise direction. In Sanchi Stupa, a sculpture depicts a rural scene with thatched huts and trees. Art historians identify this as a scene from Vesantra Jataka. Many early sculptors depicted Lord Buddha through various symbols. The empty seat indicates Lord Buddha's meditation and the stupa represented the Mahaparinibbana or his last days. The wheel stood for his first sermon at Sarnath. Other Sanchi sculptures like the beautiful woman swinging on the gateway's edge and holding onto a tree weren't directly inspired by Buddhist ideas. This woman, whose touch caused trees to flower and bear fruit, was regarded as an auspicious symbol, representing the Shala Bhanjika tradition. Sanchi Stupa also contains some finest animal depictions, probably carved to create lively scenes to draw viewers. They were also shown as symbols of human attributes. Another Sanchi motif shows a woman surrounded by lotuses and elephants who sprinkle water on her as if performing abhisheka or consecration. Some historians identify her as Maya, Lord Buddha's mother, while others identify her as Gajalakshmi, the popular goddess of good fortune. Motifs of the serpent found on several pillars in Sanchi Stupa are probably derived from popular traditions. Building temples. During 2nd century BC, several Hindu temples were built. Early temples contained Garbha Griha, a small square worship room with single doorway. Shikhara, a tall structure was built over the central shrine. Some early temples were carved out of huge rocks. This tradition culminated in 8th century AD with carving out of Elora's Kailashnatha Temple.